Today's topic is familial adenomatous polyposis, FAP, is a rare genetic condition that occurs due to a defect in the APC, adenomatous polyposis coli gene. Most of the people suffering from it inherit it from their parents. However, the mutation can also occur spontaneously. 25 to 30 percent of people with FAP fall into the latter category. FAP causes the growth of extra tissues, polyps, in the colon and rectum. Polyps are typically present in the upper portion of the small intestine, where they help reabsorb minerals, but their presence in the colon and rectum can be dangerous. If left untreated, polyps may become cancerous during your 40s. The risk of you developing this condition increases if a close family member has it as well. Let's look at familial adenomatous polyposis in detail and see why you need to get it treated quickly. Symptoms FAP causes hundreds or thousands of polyps to grow inside your colon and rectum. This starts to happen in the mid-teens and you might not feel their presence for years. However, they can start to cause other complications once you enter your 40s. These include 1. The development of duodenal and periampillary polyps. The former grows in the upper portion of the small intestine, duodenum, while the latter develops in the pancreas and bile duct. Both can be detected and removed before they become cancerous. 2. Growth of gastric fundic polyps in the stomach lining. 3. Growth of desmoids, which are non-cancerous masses that can grow anywhere in the body but usually show up in the abdomen. They can harm the body by pressing on organs and nerves. 4. Development of osteomas, which are benign bone growths. 5. Development of benign tumors. 6. Dental abnormalities. 7. Cancers of the thyroid gland, adrenal glands, nervous system, liver, and other organs. 8. Anemia. 9. Congenital hypertrophy of the retinal pigment epithelium, CHRPE, which causes benign pigment changes inside the retina. Still, the polyps inside your colon and rectum becoming cancerous remains the biggest threat. Diagnosis You will be screened regularly if the polyps are discovered before they become cancerous or if a close family member has been diagnosed with FAP. The screening involves CT scans, MRI scans, a sigmoidoscopy, a colonoscopy, side viewing duodenoscopy, and a sophiogastro duodenoscopy, EGD. The tests are performed annually to keep track of polyp growth and to check whether they are exhibiting any signs of cancer or not. Treatment Initial treatment for FAP involves removing any individual polyps found in a colonoscopy. However, by the late 20s, the polyps become too numerous to be removed individually. If this happens, surgery is required to decrease the chance of colon cancer. The surgery is performed laparoscopically to ensure minimal damage. Using minimal cuts, the doctor might 1. Leave the rectum intact with subtotal colectomy with ileorectal anastomosis. 2. Remove the colon and rectum to create a new opening through a procedure called total proctocolectomy with continent ileostomy. 3. Remove the colon and rectum and attach the small intestine to the rectum opening through a procedure called total proctocolectomy with ileoanal anastomosis. You will still need to be screened annually after surgery to ensure no new polyp growth. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.